Hey guys, welcome back to the Pixelmate channel. The name is Shank, and I'm the host. Today we're gonna dive into a new series. It's called Bookshack. The name sounds cool, huh? This series contains a four-part video. So the first video will be basically about learning how to create this splash screen. In the second one, we will learn how to create navigation using component state. Then in the third one, we are going to learn how to create input stepper plus micro interaction for add to cart trigger. And finally, we are going to wrap this up with a complete checkout system, starting from payment summary till order confirmation. So without any more further ado, let's dive into the video. Shall we? First, let's create a new artboard from the default preset. Well, I'm gonna go with the iPhone X for this one. Now let's create a background using the rectangle tool. For the fill, I have already saved some colors under the asset panel. So let's bring that up by clicking this button. Let's use this gradient color. Then, I'll add the logo and supporting elements by dragging them one by one into this artboard. Just like that. Now let's rename these layers. Then select just these two layers and change the blend mode to soft light. Next, select this layer and under the mask group. Let's see. This should be soft light. And this too. Let's keep this one normal mode because we are gonna use this later on for a cool effect. Now select these two layers and center align with the help of a smart guide. And push it further up. Then bring this arrow towards the left hand side of the logo. Then push this all the way down beyond the artboard while holding the shift key. Select this one. And tone down the opacity to zero. Then push this upwards likewise. Finally, select all the layers, group it, and let's name this folder as main. Before we move any further let's rename the artboard as well. Done. Duplicate this artboard. Then select this. No, select the arrow. And push it upwards until it touches letter B. Then shrink it vertically by dragging the node just like that. Next, let's duplicate it once again. Before we move any objects here, let's add some elements. Well, I'm gonna use a pen tool for this one. Feel free to go crazy with your imagination. Give me a moment, I'll wrap this up and come back. Done. Now the background design feels complete. Let's bring down the opacity down to zero for now. Rename this. And this too. Select both these layers. And move it until two thirds portion of the object is visible on the artboard. 
duplicate once again. So now in this artboard, let's bring it back to the actual center. But before that let's unhide this one. Make sure it precisely touches the bookmark symbol. Now bring this over here. Resize it to actual size like it was before. And set the rotation to 17 degrees clockwise. Set the opacity back to 0. Then select the elements and bring back opacity to 100. And lock this layer. Let's move on to the next artboard. Unhide this layer, then select the arrow, and set the rotation back to zero. Now place this exactly in the same position as the bookmark symbol. Scale it down. I forgot to lock the layer underneath. Lock this one. Oops. Double click the layer to edit nodes. Now adjust the upper nodes on both sides to match the symbol shape. Done. Let's unlock and hide this bookmark symbol because we won't be using this anymore further, as the purpose of this layer was just to help the arrow match the bookmark shape. Now coming back to the topic. Duplicate the artboard again. Now the time has come to create a wipe effect. For that, go to letter B, then enter the mask group. Select the mask layer within letter B, then move this subject. Use the nodes to fill up the gap, and ensure it has covered all four corners of letter B. Then change this to gradient fill. Now let's add a name. I'll call this Bookshack. Changing font style using preset which I had saved in the asset pen. Looks cool huh? Now we are gonna split this and make it look like text revealing from the middle using a mask. Move its center. Then add a box for the first one. Duplicate this for the second part. Now go to the layers panel. Then select book and first box. And hit Ctrl plus Shift plus M to mask and mask the other one as well. Now that both have been masked let's group it and rename it. Enter the first mask and push this towards the right so it's falling outside the box and tone down the opacity to zero. Let's replicate the same process for the other one too. Done. Now finally duplicate this one more time. First, change the blend mode to overlay. 
and select 3D Transformation Tool. Then rotate it sideways by 180 degrees. Next, let's reveal both the hidden text. Now we are done with the design phase. Finally, it's time to stitch the artboards. Hit prototype. Drag this arrow just like that. Then move on to the properties panel. Set the trigger from tap to time. Type is auto animate. Ease in out. And set the duration to 1.5 seconds. Moving on to the next artboard. Well, basically all the artboards will have the same settings except duration. So let's quickly stitch them first, then we can modify duration at one go. All done. Now let's change the duration in each artboard. For the second one, let's keep 0.6 seconds. The third one is 0.8. The fourth one is 0.7. The fifth one is 1 second. And finally the sixth one is 0.6 seconds. It's time to preview. Hit play. Hmm. I think I felt some disturbance in these layers. Let's preview once again. Oh I messed up the names let's change this similar to other layers. And here as well. Now hit play. And boom. Now the transition looks smooth and clear right. So guys that's it for today. If you have any questions relating to this topic, hit me in the comments section. Thanks for watching. If you like my video please hit the like button, share it if you found it helpful. And subscribe to get notified of my latest uploads. Shanks out. Peace y'all.